have the grumpy Magnus again. I'm at the airport and oh, I'm getting furious about how the airport, the, the coffee and the, the food chains here, they so use the, the fact that you, we are trapped here. The prices here are like double, triple and sometimes four times as high as, high as in the city. It's ridiculous. I mean, and, and oh, ugh. I mean, the airline, the airport, and the airlines, they want us to be here very early. And especially nowadays, because you don't know, really know how long the, the security thing will go. So you want to be here early. But then, then you have a lot of time spending here. And of course, you're going to get like hungry. But these prices are. Yeah, I'm. And a journey, when you're traveling, you're supposed to start off with a good thing. And this is not a good thing. It, it gets me in a very bad mood, actually. I get, like, frustrated and, and angry and... Oh, because they're using people. They use the fact that people are stuck here. Shape up and be better. Bali Airport. Okay, so I arrived here at Don Mueang Airport in Bangkok. And that's an airport which I haven't been to before. I've always come to Sukhumvit, I think it's called. Sukhum, yeah. So this is a new experience. It went very, very uh, nice because I'm, when I'm, I'm coming from, from another country and then I'm going to do a transfer to a domestic flight. So then you just, everybody's going to check their luggage, to claim their luggage. And we just like did a detour and then we were supposed to, and then we like sort of emigrated, immigrated into the country. And it was only one, two persons before me. So it was very, very quick. And now I'm here. And it's been so strange because when I first bought the ticket, it was a, a stop in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia and then to Chiang Mai. Then I got an email and said, no, it's been changed. So the departure from Bali was uh, early, uh, later. And then I would not have my transfer in Kuala Lumpur. I will have it in Bangkok instead. And that was like, I, I was supposed to leave from here. I was supposed to leave 17.05, but then they changed it again. So now I have a flight leaving 17.35. So it's been like three changes. I hope this will be the right one. So the time is now 15.36. Yeah, 20 minutes to four. So I have uh, more than uh, like almost two hours uh, until the train departs and uh, I, I, I have a pre-booked meals on both these planes uh, apparently. It was spicy and that was uh, kind of, uh, yeah, well, I was surprised about that. And then I will have uh, something else now on this flight. Uh, but maybe I will have something, something speck. Peckish. Hopefully it's not as expensive here as it was in Bali. Oh. But I'm still a little bit worried. Here you have like 17.35, yeah, Krabi. But maybe, hopefully the next one is uh, going to say Chiang Mai. They have something here called Potato Corner, which sounds interesting. This is sort of like, I don't know, different kind of fries. That was like reasonable prices, but they had Burger King here. And I saw the prices and, oh yeah, shame on you. So expensive. Yes, 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 I'm a happy guy. Gate 56, my God, it's a big airport. 56, and what is this? Oh, I need to walk. Wow. 
that way. The future is here. Oh. Well, you've had it sort of like cutting grass like this, but I haven't seen... This is like a, a different version of 3PTO. 3 d I don't know. I don't think I've talked to you about the currency. Well, now in Thailand, but in Bali, it was kind of difficult to to figure out how much things were because if it was 100 rupiah that's the same thing as seven seven euros or uh, seven uh, seven dollars like six pounds so could this man it was not, not so easy but here in Thailand you divide everything in three for, for, for getting the Swedish currency so a hundred baht is divided in three, 33 kroner, or three euros, or three dollars, or two and a half pound, or maybe two. Yeah, so it's, it's more difficult if you have pound. But yeah, so it's easier, in a way. Divide it in three, and there you have it. So I just arrived here in Chiang Mai and they had my name on the list because I had international connecting and then I have to have, go to an international baggage claim. It's a special baggage claim. How strange. I don't know if, if there's some special security system, but shouldn't that be... It could be done at the same place? I mean, the baggage should be on the same plane, shouldn't it? Or has it come to a, another, with another plane? I don't know. Maybe they have something about the security that they have to, they have some special machines to go through it or, or something like that. I don't know. So I'm, I'm here, I'm here, but I'm a little bit like, it looked like it was very far to the city. But then I talked to a guy there and he said 200 baht for a van. And he said like, oh, it's 20 minutes. So 20 minutes is not that far. They said this should be like, I don't know, rickshaws or something like outside here, but uh, I don't see any. I'll just uh, walk around a little bit and see what I can find. So I came out, international departures. And here is nothing. And it's very like car-like. I mean, Chiang Mai is the second biggest town in... Oh, okay, so this will be very interesting. Okay, so I talked to a security guy and he said, oh, there's no taxis up here, so you have to like book one or if you want. So, uh, and he, so here we have public transportations and stuff and taxis and... Uh, okay, so I found something here. Okay, so that was <laughs> easy. Uh, it says 150 to downtown. And uh, I'm, I'm here at sort of, I think it's gate door number one, yeah. So here you find different, and uh, 150 baht is around five dollars, uh, 50 kroner. So uh, and then I, I just gonna change this, uh, show it to someone, and then I will go there. And uh, yeah, I came out here and show this uh, to the ladies here, and now I just gonna wait one minute, and uh, there will be a driver for me, and then I pay the driver 150 baht. <laughs> 